My name is Kylie Black. I am a participant of Enabling Good Lives Waikato. I love living life and enjoying moments and creating memories. Enabling Good Lives is a partnership between people with disabilities and the government, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Social Development and the Ministry of Education. And it's a new way of doing disability supports. It puts people with disabilities in the forefront as opposed to the background and I am able to employ the people I want to live the life that I want to and I'm able to employ people who are my age who I have value with and who add to my life. <laughs> I found out about Enabling Good Lives Waikato initially through the workshops that were being held before the demonstration started. Um, I was going along and volunteering with those and then I was asked to speak and so yeah that's initially where I heard about it and I fell in love with the idea and yeah it's been fantastic. The difference between enabling Good Lives Waikato and the system that I used before is life changing <laughs> um, actually. I now have freedom to live the life that I want to live and I'm not constrained by having people sent in at set times for set hours. I get to have the choice and control over my life and I've been able to build wider communities. The only option I had beforehand was quite controlled and I often didn't get a choice of what time people turned up or who turned up. One of the things I really struggled with is that I would often be very ill in the bathroom and a different person turned up every week and I wasn't well enough to train people and tell them what to do and how to do it. But yet they were wanting that and needing that from me. I wasn't in a place to be constantly having different people walking through my home. Um, a lot of people were older. I also used to struggle with that because I just wanted to be with people my own age. My name's Marissa and I flat with Kylie and I'm also a part of the crew with Enabling Good Lives Waikato. As a flatmate, the changes I've noticed in Kylie are physical, mainly. In the last few months, her condition has deteriorated and it has affected many areas of her life. But the beauty of Enabling Good Lives is because it's relationship-centred and mana-focused, that her well-being and her in herself has remained whole and she's remained happy and, and enjoying the most that she can out of life and seeing that as a support person and flatmate has been great. So from my first meeting with The Connector, I started working on what I wanted for, what I wanted life to look like. And so we sat down and we discussed and made some plans and then I went through the supported self-assessment, which is a tool that allows you to go through and work out what kind of support you need. And I found it really beneficial because I was the one in charge and I was the one that had the control over that. That then went to the EGL committee, Waikato, and they came back with their budget. And then from there, we were able to negotiate exactly what was needed. The beauty of Enabling Good Lives is that I'm actually directly funded and the money comes into a bank account that I've set up and I have control over how that money's spent. I use my Enabling Good Lives budget. Um, the cool thing about it is it offers you a chance to use it quite creatively. So you don't just have to use it for support services and hours. I've been able to purchase items that are disability related costs through it. So what I do is if there's an item that I believe that would benefit me, then I submit a form to the Enabling Good Lives Committee and then they have the end say over whether it's approved or not. 
some of the items I've been able to buy is a fast speed blender so that I haven't had to go onto medical formula. So I've been able to continue to eat real food. I've been able to also buy a kettle, which has been phenomenal. So you, instead of like picking up a kettle or having a tipper, you put the cup underneath and it's like a coffee plunger and it pours the water through. And then you've just got the weight of the cup and not anything else. And my crew, I call them instead of support worker, um, they fill the kettle each morning and it, it holds two litres. So it means I can make a cup of coffee on my own without having to have someone here all the time. Starting my Enabling Good Lives process was phenomenal. To start off with, you've got to create all your systems and decide what kind of um, path you're going to go down. There's a few different paths you can choose from. I ended up going with a thing called IR56. So I am the employer of my disability services, but I'm not counted as an employer. And my staff, my support workers, they pay all their own taxes. How I find working with the Enabling Good Lives approach is enabling. <laughs> I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. It enables Kylie to live life to the full and the support people within the crew as well. And it enhances both our lives as individuals and, and our walks and journeys. What I like about EGR Waikato is it has changed and revolutionised my life. I have control over my life. I can live life now. It doesn't take me an entire day to go to one appointment and back. I can have help to open doors. I can have help to push the lift buttons. I can have help to get the places that I need to go now. And I have a lot more equal access to those. I'm not confound and locked into my home with just having help to get ready in the morning but then nothing you know so it really has I'm able to work on my goals in life and I'm able to dream and work towards bigger plans. The changes I've noticed in Kylie since she's been on Enabling Good Lives Waikato is that she's got so much more independence and like freedom to be herself and do what she wants to do. Yeah, she's able to get to places, get to meetings and stuff. She's able to have fun with it though. She's got people who are around her age, like girls and they're fun and they can go do girly things. Whereas before it was a little bit harder because she didn't really get to choose who she got. And you can see that she's so much more happier with the people that she's got around her and stuff now. So it's good. The support that Enabling Good Lives has provided Kylie and the crew has allowed me to experience the friendship with Kylie as a face-on friendship. I don't see it, I don't see that I'm friends with a disabled person as all, at all. I see her as a best friend, full stop. And to be able to enjoy that friendship and have it as normal as possible and doing life with each other as equally as possible is a real gift and I believe that's how it should be with everybody. I'm living in a flat now and I'm living my own life and that has been made possible because I now have the proper supports in place to live my own independent life. Through Enabling Good Lives I have been able to rebuild my confidence, I have learnt again that I have a voice, that I can speak up. You know, I've been able to build community on a much wider scale. I'm no longer confined to my home. My friends have spoken about how they have seen the changes in me. And beforehand, I would often be quite frustrated and, and quiet and reserved because I was broken in my system and I was frustrated at being at home and I was frustrated at banging against different community agencies and not being able to get in and not being able to have a say and not being able to access those because of all of the constrained and you know set parameters and I can live life now and I have been able to create an open door policy at home and I have friends now who are able to come over and connect. I have been able to rebuild relationship 
with my parents as my parents, my siblings as my siblings, and my friends as my friends. And I haven't needed to be relying on them as a person with a disability, but I can now be seen as an equal player in my own life. It's impacted my relationship with my sister Kylie um, really immensely. Beforehand um, I was always having to juggle uni and working and taking her to appointments that she needed to be at and stuff because no one really was available. So it kind of turned into more of a chore than like kind of wanting to do it which doesn't sound the best but it kind of is how it was. Um, and so with Enabling Good Lives Waikato she was um, able to have her um, friends take her to the different appointments and stuff so it kind of freed up the time for me and her to just hang out as sisters and do fun things just like we used to do kind of thing so yeah it's, it's made the relationship a lot more two-sided and um, more fun I'd say yeah as someone who 10 years ago didn't have a disability but faces life with disability now I never imagined to find myself in this position I used I'm so glad that Enabling Good Lives Waikato is accessible for me because it's allowed me to pick up and start living full life again, regardless of my deteriorating health. And I have better quality of life now than I did before. Um, I realise and understand that not everyone has access to this system and it, that needs to change. You know, we all need access to live full, equal quality lives and have the ability to have the control and say over our lives instead of having someone else dictate and tell us how we're gonna live and what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it. I think one thing that it's really changed and I've had a lot of feedback on is my friends have noticed such incredible differences in me. They have noticed um, increased confidence. They have noticed I'm much happier, I'm much lighter as in freer and happier because I can do the things I want to do when I want to do them and have the say over my life. And, and that's phenomenal. It's absolutely incredible. My dreams, my dreams are to be able to continue living this life and build on it, to continue building strong community. I want to speak to challenge people, to look outside of our worlds, to see the worlds of others, to see what we do have and not what we don't, and what we can do and not what we can't, because we can all play a part.